welcome to another episode of Rusty's Collection. As always, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Quick update from the last video. So thanks for the comments to stop the squeaking of the windows, to put some lubricant on the rubbers and some people suggested using a product called gummy fledge hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly so I got some gummy fledge off the internet and added that to the rubbers and it made absolutely no difference whatsoever so it is the regulators so they're going on the list of jobs to be done over the winter so I was looking out the window as you do at the car on the drive because it is such a beautiful car, the 996 Carrera 4S. And notice that because it was pouring with rain, that the water wasn't beading off the roof, it had saturated the soft top. And I was expecting it to be beading off the soft top. So I decided it was probably time to clean and re-waterproof the soft top. So I went on the internet to have a look at what products were available. So I found a few products online where you get a cleaner and a water resistance barrier. And also I found some where you also get a re-dye kit. So having a look at my roof, if we come over to the car, you will notice there are some wear marks. So I've got these, these white marks here. I know I'm not going to get rid of the, the, the little wear marks, but these where it's gone light here and also this bar across here and here so and of course across the front so what i'm hoping for is after i've cleaned this roof and got rid of all this sort of dirt so i'll brush this off and then and then uh, run the cleaner over but then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this this die and hopefully get this back to uh a nice linear color so get rid of these these white marks where the uh, where the different fitments are so as you can see there's quite a few wear marks here so hopefully re-dyeing it will get rid of those and then waterproofing it will then mean that it beads over so what I'll do is I'll show you, I'll put a bit of water on it now and show you how it does saturate straight in. And then hopefully after we've finished doing this job that the, the water will then bead off the car. I mean, thankfully, uh, although the uh, roof does get saturated, it doesn't leak through into the car. The car does stay dry. So here we go, as you can see. does not bead off at all it just soaks up the water completely so hopefully that will be the case okay so the first step is to brush off any loose debris off the car off the roof so I'm going to brush that off now and then we then apply the cleaner. So the bottle says that we start in the middle and we apply the cleaner all over in long brush strokes, wetting the surface with a mist spray or bottle spray, whatever you want to call it, of water. And then leave it for 10 minutes and then scrub it with a brush. So off we go. I'm going to brush this off now. You don't need to watch, watch me brushing off this roof so I'll do that and then we're going to get into putting the cleaner on
so we've now applied the cleaner and it says now to leave it for 10 to 20 minutes to soak in well which it looks like it already has so we're going to leave it for for that amount of time and then we're going to come out and we're going to gently brush it with some warm water to get the dirt out and then rinse it off so see you again in about 15 minutes so it's been about 20 minutes so now what we need to do with warm water is just gently brush the surface so i am going to get on with this and brush this in and get this nice and clean Okay, so now I've rinsed it off, I'm going to give the car a thorough wash to make sure I get any residual off the car, leave it to dry, and then we'll have a look at the results once it's dry. See you later. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours since I've finished the cleaning and the roof is now thoroughly dried. So we're going to have a look at the final results. Now, I've always known that the cleaning process was just to make sure that the car roof was nice and clean, ready to apply the recoloring and the waterproofing. So I wasn't expecting great results or a massive difference to the roof after this first process, but let's take a look. So what we can see so you can see now that it is a lovely even color here now before it had uh, some some dirt patches here um, which will show a side by side so you can see that but i think it's come up really well you obviously can still see these these changes in color where there's some wear on the roof uh, around this side as well but those I think are probably more pronounced now because I've got rid of all the dirt there are some wear marks here but I've got rid of the majority of the dirt there are a couple of ingrain stains I might have another go at those before recoloring the roof so the next stage will be recoloring the roof and I will see you in the next episode for that. As always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you next time for the recolouring. See you then.